When Alexander Hamilton was a boy growing up in San Croix before he became an orphan, he had a house servant, another boy named Ajax. Ajax was enslaved, one of many in bondage on this Caribbean island, known then for its brutal treatment of African men, women, and children in the effort to squeeze riches out of sugarcane. Despite this relationship with Ajax and slavery in general, Hamilton went on to be one of the leading abolitionist voices of his time. Actually, it's been suggested that position wasn't despite his relationship with Ajax, but because of it, because Hamilton saw Ajax's humanity, saw he was truly created equal. To me, it's clear so much aggression and suffering stems from someone or some group failing to see the humanity of someone else or some other group. Fixing that sometimes requires an interaction, the way Hamilton interacted with Ajax. But it might also take someone telling others in their own circle the way things are, the way Hamilton did with the other founding fathers. He obviously didn't see the change in his lifetime, but he and others set down the moral marker from which future generations would march. So while it's tempting to try to change the minds of those on the opposite side of some ideological fence, I'd argue we can sometimes have the most impact if we try to change the hearts of those on our side. Those who hate, we can remind them of the humanity of others. For those folks were not born with ill will, and they don't have to die with it. I, of course, wish someone had gotten through in this way to the shooter in Buffalo. I wish that person could have seen the humanity of those beautiful souls in that store. Instead, we're left with images of humanity in its most broken form. Images like this. Jacob hiding his tears as his mother talks about his dad, who can't be around now to help his son grow up. Because someone didn't see Hayward Patterson's humanity, his light. But it can be seen by everyone now. And so can Jacob's. May that light shine through the blindfolds that hold in hate and illuminate the connection that binds us all. See you on Monday.